I'm going to use climate change. As a, a geologist, I'm very passionate about this. You believe in it? Climate change is a fact. I've, okay. been, I've been talking about it since... Just No, I've been talking about it since 1979. <laughs> it's also a fact that humans are not causing it. The real scientists the know this. Part. It's not the cows. I'll tell you, I mean, NASA knows this. There is an increase in CO2. Is there more CO2 in the atmosphere now than there was 10 years, 20, 50, 100 years ago? The answer is absolutely yes. Is it a bad thing? The answer is no. Is it the most we've ever had? We're right about 440 parts per million right now. In geologic history, we're looking at Jurassic over 1,000 parts per million, Triassic 2,000 parts per million. The earth was lush, the earth was green, life was abundant during that time. And what we see in geologic history, and this is fascinating to me, there are times when CO2 levels are high and the temperatures are low. And times when just the opposite is happening, it's not necessarily a one-to-one -one correlation. Where's the CO2 coming from? NASA knows, I've got a bunch of videos on this, over 90% of the CO2 is coming from the oceans, warming. Warm water holds less gas. Here's the kicker. The oceans are warming from underneath, not from the top. If it was from the CO2 on the top, you know, the warming of the air, it would be coming from the top. The glaciers are melting from underneath. The CO2 is coming from tectonic processes that happen about every 12,500 years that people just don't want to talk about. A tectonic process that begins in the core, translates perturbations into the mantle, into the crust, the weak areas of the crust. You see more tectonic activity, more volcanic activity, which is exactly what, what we're seeing. Do we need to go clean green? Yes, we need to stop burning fossil fuels because the oil is actually a very precious resource that cannot be replaced. And if we were serious about doing it, we've had the technology for over 70 years.